In the studio with me this morning is the guest curator of that Groundswell concert. He's from Sweden. He's been living in Winnipeg uh, since 2005. Orjan Sandrid is here. So good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Nice to have you here this well, morning. Thank you for having me. It's First time we've met. Yeah, it is. Yeah, It's a pleasure. I know you've yeah. been in town for well, 13 years or so yeah, already. It's almost been, uh, yeah, it's fast. Time passes. It's time flies, passes yeah. fast? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So just tell us a little bit. Y- th- you're the guest curator of this concert. Does that mean that you you were in charge of putting this whole uh, concert together? Yeah, it's the third concert I put together with, with Groundswell. And it's a great uh, um, position because uh, they give you a budget to make a concert and you have kind of, you, you they expect you to do what you're good at. So I I do the type of music I I, I love and, and um, that I want to promote in the mm-hmm. city and make people aware of and listen to. Tell us about the bit about your background in music and what your the kind of music that you. Yeah, so I'm a composer. So the reason why I'm in Winnipeg is because I work at the university. I'm the composition professor, one of the two composition professors at the Faculty of Music. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I came here for work, uh, and um, I'm, a, I'm Swedish is my background, as you say. So I've been, of course, working in Sweden for many years before I came here. And I write music uh, for a lot of different situations. I had two commissions with the Winnipeg Symphony, for example, in town. And I, um, my, but my, my, my heart is very close to what I call live electronic music, which is music that is uh, involving speakers and electronics together with uh, traditional instruments. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I tend to think about this type of music as something that really reflects our time. I mean, I mean, composers have always been curious about new things. You mentioned, I heard on the, when I drove in here that you said that Mozart is the number one composer. Performed on the playlist. composer. Yeah, perform, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> performed p- composers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, he also looked at new inventions. He, he wrote for clarinet, which was a pretty new instrument at its time, uh, with, with a lot of inventions, what you couldn't do in older wind instruments. You look at the 19th century with the Industrial Revolution that completely revolutionized the wind instruments. Uh, they got all the mechanics that are essential for an, any type of romantic composition. Mm-hmm. And then if you look at the 20th century, of course, a big thing was electricity uh, and uh, and computers, of course, are today, but in the 1950s, uh, composers tend to look at loudspeakers that were invented. And, you know, you wouldn't have a job if you didn't have loudspeakers. All your listeners listen to yeah, loudspeakers. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so in a way, you could claim that all the music you play here on the station kind of is part of this tradition, you know? Yeah, it's we're modern. Yeah, you're very modern <laughs> that way, for sure, yeah. <laughs> So w- what does, uh, say for example, when, you, when you're composing for, uh, for something electronic, yeah. how, is it di- how would that differ from something acoustic? So, um, I mean, listening to music through loudspeakers, as I said, is, is a way of using loudspeakers. But my music, I, 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 quest- I put the question on how do you make music really efficient for loudspeaker? How do you use the loudspeaker as, as an instrument? How can you make it really... Uh, dedicated to everything you can do with a loudspeaker because you can do so much with a loudspeaker that you can't do with traditional instruments. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that the place where people get exposed to this who are not into music would be at when they go to the cinema because they have very good loudspeaker systems at cinemas and mm-hmm. people love film music and they're emerged by it and they think it's really cool. And I think that's one aspect of, of what you can do with loudspeakers. So at, at this concert on Sunday, at the Winnipeg Art Gallery, we will have uh, a, a ring of um, a circle of ten loudspeakers in the hall, so uh, the people will be really merged in the same way as you would be in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. But the music is not uh, dedicated to to visual and and support the visuals. It's music as music, uh, but it can be uh, if the composer wants, so to speak. It can be very powerful, uh, and you can get much more power out of a. a a room full of loudspeakers you, then you can get of a, a symphony orchestra not in terms necessarily of loudness but in terms of, of, of uh, expression if you want mm. if you're good at it i think you can do a lot i mean it could sound like a symphony orchestra as well of course mm-hmm. but you can do other things as well <laughs> i'm in conversation with the guest curator for the uh, groundswell concert coming up on sunday orion sandred who is the uh, guest curator so it was up to him he was given a budget and uh, asked to put together a concert. So, which uh, w- I was looking online, it doesn't tell us which composers we okay, can expect yeah. to hear. So, why don't you tell us about the composers and the works that we'll that, that we will hear yeah. in the weekend? Given this chance to do a concert, of course, put two of my own pieces on the program, <laughs> 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 uh, and it's I, it's uh, Winnipeg pieces in the way that reflect collaborations and done in Winnipeg. So, one is. Uh, um, um, with uh, Sarah Jo Kirsch, who is a uh, soprano that mm-hmm. uh, I wrote this piece for. 
uh, is it one and, a, one and a half year ago, and we premiered in Sweden actually. And this is the first time it's been performed in mm. in Winnipeg. And then the other piece is for oboe and percussion, and um, and this version would be played by two Swedish musicians. And one is uh, Johnny Axelsson, who is a very good uh, percussionist, one of the top percussionists in Sweden and very active in Germany also. And Fredrik Söngen, who's also a very good oboist, uh, also very active uh, performer, both in I orchestras and, and, and chamber music in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And other composers, I would definitely want to mention that Elliot Britton, who is a, a um, known uh, Winnipeg composer who is now living in Toronto, he has a new commission. So I don't know that piece yet because I haven't heard it. <laughs> you haven't heard it yet and it's on Sunday. <laughs> no, exactly, <laughs> because it's a new piece commissioned. And it's for this oboe percussion duo that's coming into town. So he's re they are rehearsing it, they know it, but I don't, since I'm not there right now, I don't hear it. Uh, mm -hmm. But they will come on in on, on Wednesday and then we'll do some work on it here also as well. And then uh, the other commission is by Johnny Axelsson himself, the percussionist who wants to write a piece. So he also has a new piece on the concert that will be premiered in Winnipeg. So mm -hmm. that's, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. And then another composer, uh, Joachim Sangren, who lives in, s in Paris, that I know since many years. Uh, he, uh, he's in town already and he, uh, he will have a piece that Alan Harrington will play. On saxophone? The concert. Saxophone, saxophone, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have one composer who is definitely uh, a little bit older than me. It's uh, Alejandro Vinjao, who is an Argentina composer living in London, uh, who has written a really fascinating piece where he, he kind of imagines uh, a, a maybe future culture uh, where technology is really important and music is really important. So mm -hmm. your status in this culture depends on your skill of singing. Hmm. And this is a vocal piece which shows off uh, skill of singing. It's a very tricky piece with a lot of ornaments and things. That, and it's a, it's a beautiful piece, hmm. very, very beautiful. And uh, who did I forget about composer? Oh, of course, uh, Julien Vincenot, who is a French composer, who was in Winnipeg in October for a project. He has a piece that Alan Harrington will perform also. So the concert is called Lumiere Noir. What is, yeah. it, is there a particular theme? Yeah, the title is actually from a, from a piece that in the end didn't get played at the concert for other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I thought the title is kind of cool anyway. Uh, the theme of the concert is basically to show off what you can do with uh, live electronic music. So every piece on the concert has live electronics, has these performers performing together with these loudspeakers in, mm. the, in the concert. And the loudspeakers might react on what they do or accompaniment them in other ways. Um, and but the, the theme is this combination of, of, of performers on stage together with loudspeakers and, and uh, explore and show contrasting pieces and show the, um, hopefully people will be uh, happily surprised with um, expression you can actually got. It's not about technology necessary. It's about expression. So just a quick question, and, and it may seem naive on my part, but is yeah. there somebody controlling the loudspeakers? Yeah, yeah. There's a. You will see if you go to the console, you'll see a mixing console in the middle where I will sit together with some other people probably mm -hmm. and have a busy life. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's it's uh, it depends on the piece. Some pieces are live performed. Some pieces are really kind of like you know you have the cooking show. You prefer it in the oven before you take it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's it's a combination of both versions. So it's it's for the depending on the piece, what's the most efficient way of doing it? Uh, people do have different ways of approaching it. It's not it's not one technique. It's mm -hmm. a lot of things. It's like if you know anyone who uses a computer, know that we don't use a computer for one thing. We use it for multiple things. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing when you do this type of music. You have very many different type of approaches and music styles you can create out of it. Okay. Uh, or Orion Sandard is the guest curator of the Groundswell concert. It takes place Sunday, January 20th. For more information and tickets, you can go to gswell.ca. So just before you wrap up, yeah. we're going we're gonna to play a little uh, sample yeah, of yeah, one of the pieces. Why don't you introduce that? Yeah, piece. so this is a piece that I wrote. Uh, it's on only four minutes from a longer piece, uh, and it's uh, Sergio Kursch singing. And this piece is, uh, um, uses a text by a Swedish poet, uh, uh, Gustav Fröding, who, was, uh, who is a really important poet in Sweden. He died in 1911, and he had a really tragic life with a lot of alcohol problems, etc. And he wrote this poem when he was in a mental institute. He kind of locked in and he, it's a very beautiful text. He's, you can imagine him looking through the window, seeing the world outside that is so beautiful. It's in, he was in Lillehammer at the time, which is in Norway. And I, I've been there for other reasons. And it's a beautiful lake, fantastic. People are happy in this text, uh, sun is shining, but you always feel that there is something wrong because he's not out there, he can't participate, he's locked inside. So it's being about, the text is about being an insider. 
And I thought it was really interesting to see this text and then imagine the mind of the person mm -hmm. who is not at, at peace with this. And then the, 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 both the text and the music uh, gets into a really crisis at one point, so to speak. So the four minutes I, I picked from this piece is about when the text is describing this lake and the beauty of it, uh, so to speak. So this is what the person sees, but underline there is something that's different. The mind is somewhere else, maybe. Okay, thank you very much for coming in this morning, Orion Sandard. Thank you, it's great. Uh, we've great been in conversation about the Groundswell concert coming up on uh, Sunday, January 20th. Go to gswell.ca for more information and tickets. And here is a little sample of the music that you'll hear. Mm -hmm. 